This weekend at SQL Saturday, I had a great presentation, great crowd, everything was awesome. Except for the fact about an hour beforehand, half of my demos broke because Langchan decided to no longer be compatible with Microsoft Fabric. It's because Python is a pain in the ass. There, I said it. You know, I debated making this video, but I thought you need to see what happens when things don't go right and also how we troubleshoot the process. So today, in Tales from the Field, we fix Langchan in Microsoft Fabric. Could be a good day. Yeah. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a- If this is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we have our MS Tech Bits. On Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content from the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. And then on Wednesday, we have another MS Tech Bits. That's where we share something where we were inspired by you, the community, working with a product group or a customer, or our things went terribly, terribly wrong. And we had to figure out, oh my God, what am I gonna do right before my presentation goes? That's one of those videos right now. Let's get over that great content. All right, so this is gonna be a familiar story. I've showed you this in videos that you may remember where we were looking at how to be able to use Langchan to go to the movies in our Microsoft Fabric environment. And in that demo, everything worked. I've done it multiple times since. Well, I was coming in and I was running through this to be able to test my demo. And one of the first things I noticed when I did the pip install Langchan, this took an exceedingly long time. I mean, this took nearly two minutes, whereas before this had took in, in the tens of seconds, typically about 13 seconds. And when I came down here to the bottom, I saw this interesting stuff, installing collected packages, type extensions, Marshmallow, JSON pointer, um, and then uninstalling type extensions. And I went, well, that's new. That's interesting. Maybe there's some new functionality in a new package that had come out. And I was partially right. Now, once I came down and I hit my API key, um, validated that I had my info, and then I hit the link chain, this is where I got my error. And when you look at it, import cannot pull in type alias from type extensions. And remember from above, type extensions. I think there's an issue with type extensions. That's going to be a dependent package. When I look at the version of Langchain we got, it's 312, 0.0.312. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to take a look at the Langchain GitHub. And I see, yep, this is, this is the 312 updated seven hours ago. But there's a lot of different versions that we could look at. So what I need to figure out is, is there a version that still works with Microsoft Fabric? So I went over to my lake house and I opened up a new notebook that I could use for my troubleshooting efforts. So in this, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I understand what version of Python am I running? So I'm going to do an import sys print sys.version. And sure enough, when I run this, I can see I'm running Python 3.10. That's a pretty modern version that we're utilizing. As soon as this comes up, there we go. It's a Conda Forge 3.10.10. So when I do my pip install, I can specify a specific version of Langchan. Now I've gone through this and what I know is 2.66 is the last version that works in Microsoft Fabric if we have to load it from scratch. I swear I did this in October and even in September, but this version 2.66, came out in August. Interesting stuff, right? So I come in here. Um, I, I'm going to add my API keys so that way I can access this. And what I need to do is validate that Langchain actually run correctly. Now, again, I've done all the work to go through and find the version for you. And when I run this, you'll see within about four seconds, uh, this is going to come back and boom, we're back in business. We are now working again. I went through the different versions and I found this and a quick example, you're going to have to stop your session uh, and you're going to have to restart it. But I make a notation 2.66 works. Um, if I change this to 2.67 after I stop my version and I restart, I'll be able to get a very similar error to what we got before. This helps me understand that when the packages came out between 2.66 and 2.67, something changed. As you can see right down there, we've got our familiar issue, type extensions. 
So once this finishes installing, and this is going to take longer, about a minute and a half, uh, almost two minutes for this to run. I've sped it up a little bit. When this finishes running, what we'll find is we're going to have a similar output. We're going to have a similar error that gets back to type extensions. Now, what I want to do eventually is I want to figure out how do I add to the repo? How do I actually debug this? But the most important thing that I need to do is figure out how do I get this working? How we fix this for all future versions to be able to use it is a later question. The thing that we want to focus on is how do we get ourselves back up and running quickly? And as you can see at 267, boom, there's my error. So what can I do? I can go back to my movies uh, system. Now I'm going to have to stop and I'm going to have to start my session and I can specify Langchain 2.66. When I do this, I can come back and again, this is going to load and it's going to be very fast, similar to what my experience was in the past. In about 12 to 15 seconds, we're going to see that this is great. 14 seconds, there we go. No loading of the type extensions. Um, I get my API key. I come down and very quickly, I'm able to see, I'm able to authenticate to the service. Uh, and I can check my LangChan version, and I can see that it's no longer on 3.312. We're now at 2.66. And I can even come down and I can run an agent asking a question, passing through a data set, which I was doing before, and I can validate that I'm getting a result back. Magic. I mean, not really magic. This was troubleshooting, but at least we are back up and running. And sometimes that's what you've got to have to get going in production. What did we learn? Well, we learned that, you know, Python can't live with it, uh, can't throw it in a sack, uh, weigh it down with cement blocks and toss it into the river. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that got dark. Um, but seriously, Python, yeah, I mean, I love it. I hate it. It's, it's so wonderful, but sometimes it's difficult to use. In a situation when you're down, sometimes the most important thing is to figure out how we get back up and running, and then we figure out that long-term fix. You know where we like to keep this going, right? Down in the comments. Sound off. Is there anything that you wanted to know that we didn't cover? Anything you'd like to see? I would love to hear from you. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us today on Tales from the Field. And as always, be good to one another. Preparation, Bye. good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make.